Often have I heard you say, as if speaking in sleep, he who works in marble and finds the shape of his own soul in the stone is nobler than he who ploughs the soil. So this in the next line, he's talking about this idea that we have a sense that some endeavours are more noble than others. Now we can take this from an inferiority or a superiority complex. I work in marble and I find the shape of my own soul in the stone. I'm an artiste. You plough the soil, oh, good man. It's this idea that there are some endeavours that are inherently more valuable than others. In the poem, The Mountain and the Squirrel, there's a beautiful line in there. So the mountain and the squirrel had a quarrel. And at the end, the squirrel says, all is well and wisely put. If I cannot carry forests on my back, neither can you crack a nut. So what is your value? Is your nature more or less noble than anybody else's? Now, your activity might have a different kind of impact, but how are we going to measure the nobility of an endeavour? He says, but I say, the wind speaks not more sweetly to the giant oaks than to the least of all the blades of grass. The wind blows across the giant oaks, the wind blows across the blades of grass, to the wind, the oak and the grass are equal. So the question is then, from what perspective is every endeavour equal? And again, it's this perspective of a totality. If you go back to the earlier image that he spoke of as a flute. When you work, you are a flute through whose heart the whispering of the hours turns to music. He returns back to that image here. He alone is great who turns the voice of the wind into a song made sweeter by his own loving. So who is great? It's the one who acts impersonally, feeling themselves as part of a larger whole, following their own individual nature performing the action selflessly, not depending upon the fruit of action. Just recognizing that as the flute is an instrument in my hands, I am an instrument in the hands of nature. 